Well, hey friends, it's Summer with Summer Sweet Shop again here with you for some graduation cookies that we are gonna decorate. And the special thing that we're gonna make with these cookies are pretty basic cookies. We are gonna jazz them up with gold. So I'm gonna show you how I paint my gold onto cookies and how I can really take them to the next level um, for just like some basic cookies. And I'm gonna show you how you can do that today. So um, I am using my sugar cookie um, exclusive recipe as well as my royal icing recipe. Both of those can be found inside my cookie academy, which is my online beginners course. You can find that on my website as well as a description below to learn more about that. But I'm excited to get started on these graduation cookies. I think they're going to be super, super fun. Um, the um, cookie cutters are from Simply Renee Sweets, is who carries all four of these cookie cutters. Um, she also has other cutters um, and stuff. And so highly recommend her website for um, finding your favorite cookie cutters and finding your favorite um, designs. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on our cookies. So we're gonna start first with the, oh, and just so you know, I have not added gold to these. So we've got, I live in Nashville, so we've are, are, um, got some Vanderbilt vibes going on here with our black and gold. Um, but obviously with any graduation, you can change this out to be any school colors that you would like. You don't have to use black, obviously, but you could change it out um, for the color appropriate for your school. So the first thing I'm gonna do is outline just half of the graduation gown here. And I do that because I'm just adding some dimension because it's a pretty small, basic, not small, it's just a basic cap and gown or just graduation gown, I should say not the cap yet. And so I wanted to add something a little um, more with the details. So we're gonna have this line here. So we're gonna um, just do one side. And you can see here, I came up on the edge of um, a little bit farther instead of just being flat, I wanted to add a sleeve there. And that just also adds a little bit of dimension on that side. Next, you're gonna take your flood icing. And we're gonna flood our side of the cap here, just this one side. Now again, you wanna make sure that you fill it in all the way. So, and you can use different colors according to your school colors. You could always do white um, if you don't want to use the black. I get lots of questions about how to make black icing and is it going to turn your teeth black? And the answer is yes, it will turn it black. It will not change the taste of the icing, but it will turn them black until they start eating something else. It's not one of those things where you're gonna have black teeth the whole entire night, unless you just eat a whole bunch of black cookies. Um, so you're gonna let that dry for about, um, 20 minutes. You don't have to wait long because you're going to add the same color on the other side. And so we've got our other color on the other side here. So we are going to do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to come up so that it creates a sleeve on the gown. So now I'm gonna flood this side. And so you're just gonna make sure you just flood from the outside, working your way towards the middle. Sometimes black, you can um, miss spots where you didn't get it all the way to the edge. I know I've done that many times. It appears that you've covered the whole thing and you realize you have not. So you're just gonna take your scribe, move your icing around. I wanna make sure that I get this connected here for the middle section. And 
can see I'm just gonna overlap it just a hair. I'm just pushing that icing just so it's a nice symmetrical line. It's symmetrical all the way down. All right, and once you have that done, you're gonna let that dry for about um, a couple hours before you add in your gold tassels. This is the easy part. You can make them any way that you want. I decided just to go the easy route and just add some tassels onto here. So I'm just, I've got a number two tip on this. We're gonna add some gold to this here in a minute. But I'm just gonna add my tassels like so. And then we're gonna add the gold here in a minute. So let's go ahead and do our next cookie. We're gonna do the hat. And with the hat, you've got your graduation hat. So again, we're gonna take our black. I'm gonna do a dot right here so I know that it's centered right in the middle. And this is where the top of the hat is gonna come. And then I'm gonna do a line here. And then I'm gonna leave like the little ball area for the tassel. And then outline this bottom and then go back up. So once you've done that, I'm gonna add my black here onto the bottom. I'm gonna do the bottom section first since the gold um, ivory. And I just, for this gold, you could use Americolor gold. Um, it doesn't have like any kind of sheen. It's just kind of the color of gold. You're not going to have a sheen on it, like what we're going to add to it, but it will, um, you can use that or you could use a um, ivory. So I just used ivory. The gold that we're going to use covers really, really well. All right, so now here is your cookie where it is done. We're going to do our black here on the top. So you're just going to fill it in. Make sure you get all the corners. I'm going to use my scribe just to go push that icing where I want it to go. Let that dry for a few hours. Oh, I almost forgot. Well, you're going to let it dry, and then this is what you will have here. And then I'm going to add the ball here for the tassel. You can make this look however you want it to. And then I just added some strings coming off the ends like so. So I do one layer, slightly spaced apart, and then I'm gonna go through and do a second layer, kind of that in between. So there won't be any cookie showing underneath. And I'm using piping icing to create that. And then I'm gonna fill in that circle with flood icing. And just gently fill that in. And then kind of make it a little more round like this sample there. It does not want to go around at all. Okay, and then I'm going to do my lime coming up. And then going to the middle. And then I'm going to add an oval here. And that's like the little thing that keeps your tassel on your cap. We all know what that is. 
All right, so there is your tassel and your cap. You got your cap, you got your gown. Now it's time for your diploma because you've worked so hard. So here's your diploma. We're gonna outline this and flood with white. So, we are going to outline the whole thing. I'm using a number two tip. Oh, where's my diploma? I'm using a number two tip on this cooking. Now, I don't do exactly how she has this design on the website, so you may be like, where is the diploma that I saw Summer create? Well, I did it a little bit different to make it a little easier and more beginner friendly. That bow in the middle can be a little tricky. So I wanted to make it as easy as possible for you to do. And I always say this is that I've been doing this a long time, but I'm not a very artistic person. I'm not super creative. Um, and people don't like it when I say that, but I always say my handwriting is terrible. My drawings are terrible, but for some reason with a piping bag, I have been able to do a lot and can draw. So, I say that to tell you that if I can do this, so can you, I promise you. Okay, so here's our white cookie. We've let it dry for um, a couple hours and we are going to add our bow. So I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna do the one on this side first cause it's a little wonky. And then we're gonna do this one next okay and then we're going to come down for our ribbon the tails on your bow and i'm going to make like a kind of like a diamond here this is definitely not necessarily the best way to make this but i found it to be the easiest way I'm gonna, I decided to go ahead and fill this in. You could leave it blank if you wanted to and it would be fine. Um, but I'm gonna add these um, markings here. I think they just add to the cookie. Um, I have to give credit to Sweet Sugar Bell. Made a graduation set many years ago and used these similar markings. And I have loved them ever since. So I did not come up with them. Okay, and now we're gonna take our flood icing and fill in our bow. Now I'm gonna be really careful that I don't get these two too close together because I don't want them to get joined together. I wanna keep a little separation there. So, if you are worried about that and the two loops are closely, then you can just do one, wait about 10 minutes, and then do the other one if you wanted to. The tails, I don't mind as much because we're gonna do a little dot in the middle and that's gonna cover all of that up. So I'm just bringing it to the middle like so. Okay, and then the last thing I'm gonna do with these is add a dot right here in the middle with my outline icing. So I used the stiff icing for that because I wanted it really, really stiff. So there is your diploma. So cute, we're gonna do gold, don't worry. We're gonna do gold here at the end. So have no fear. Now we're gonna do 
the hardest cookie, which was the class of 2022. Now, if you get this cutter, you'll be able to use this year after year and just change the um, lettering. So I'm gonna use my projector to do some of this here. But the first thing I'm gonna do is do an arch here up and over to this side. So I can see here these little indentions here. And then I've got to do one here. So if you do not have a projector, that is totally okay. You can still make these cookies. It may just be a little more challenging with the way it is. And so I just feel, I'm gonna fill that whole thing in with white. And then um, I don't worry about the sections because I'm gonna add some detail with my piping icing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I grab my white and pick it up and then fill in that area. You're gonna fill it in very nicely. All right, so you're filling it in. You want it to be pretty puffy. So the tip that I had on that was a 2.5. I usually like a number two so that you can't see as much line. This one you can kind of see a lot of the line. Once that is dry, you can use um, the um, your ivory piping icing, and you're going to add, you could always do the black with this, and that way you wouldn't have to outline, but I would just worry about color bleed. And we'll go right across the top. And then down here in the bottom. I love this cutter because I thought it was just super fun. You could obviously use it for other things besides graduation. Um, so it makes like kind of a nice plaque. The whole time I was doing it, I kept thinking about baseball. So to me, it looks like a baseball diamond. So it would be perfect. Um, you could even make it like a baseball diamond or something with like a banner over the top or something fun like that. And then you are gonna let that dry. I should have a button that says, let that dry. Come to this. And we're gonna add our letter. So I'm gonna use my projector here to do these letters, I'm going to do my 2022 first, just because they're the most difficult. And we're going to, I'm going to use my, um, I'm using a Acaso um, projector and I like it really, really well. I need to replace my HDMI cord because it keeps shorting out. Otherwise, it has been very great. But I highly recommend the Pico Pocket Projector is fantastic. And I had that one for many years until it finally died, but I highly recommend. So I'm just outlining each letter. And I'm using a number two tip on my bag and I'm gonna do my white line here at the top I'm gonna try and see because I, I want to go ahead and do the class of so I just kind of moved it a little bit but I want to do class of first before I do anything else I don't want to get my hand in that so I'm gonna just scrunch it up just a hair. 
I've got a number two tip on this um, bag. So we're gonna do, I'm just going to pressure pipe the letters. You could use like a 1.5 and do this as a fill-in. I was just saving some time. All right. So now I'm just gonna move that to the side. I'm going to do a line here. This is gonna connect it all the way across. And then I'm gonna do my white and then I'll do, and the last thing I'm gonna do are my letters. So with my line that comes across, here, you're going to go out a little farther and bring it up there, and then this kind of comes in. It's kind of hard if you don't have a projector to figure that out. And now we'll add our line here. Okay, now we're gonna fill in our class of 20, or we're gonna fill in our 2022. So I'm just taking my flood icing and going right over that. Make sure your scribe is nice and clean. And then you're just going to move it around like so to make sure it covers. Again, I'm gonna try and cover up that line as much as I can. Another way um, you can do that is if you outline and flood pretty quickly. Um, that line will just kind of disappear with that flood icing. So just know that that's an option as well. A lot of people don't like to see that line and they want to know how to get rid of the line. So those are my tips. All right. So now is the fun part. We're going to add some gold on to this cookie. So I'm going to set this one to the side. And we're going to add gold to our cookies. So we've got our cookies here. I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. So first thing you're going to do is I have gold, TMP Super Gold. So this is the gold that I use. I love it the most. Um, and it works really, really, really well. Um, I also have, they have a smaller one like this, but I use this as my, I don't know what you would call it, um, my little tube, my little space that I'm working from. Um, and I have some Everclear, which is basically like rubbing alcohol. Um, you can also use vodka. I have it here in a, um, in a little bottle. So I am going to, um, oh, and then a brush. So I have a few brushes here. Um, I have this blue one here is from um, Michael's, and then these white ones are from um, Borderlands Bakery, which are great. So you can see one of them's a little bit finer than the other. So I'm going to use the fine one on the tassel and stuff, and then I'll use the bigger one on the bigger letter. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to open it up, and I'm going to use kind of my bigger brush, but this is what it looks like. So it's like a little powder. And I'm going to dump some here in my little extra container. And I'm going to take some of the Everclear and drop it down in there. Now, typically you want like 
about the same amount. You want even amount. But what you're looking to get is you want like a gel paste is the consistency that you want. So this was at one time, like this is what I mix all of my gold color in. And so what happens is the alcohol evaporates and then this, and then it, just the dust is left after you use it all. So we are going to paint then once you get that right consistency. So if it's not like add a little bit more gold if you need to, that's why I like to use very little Everclear at first so I can see what that consistency is. So you can see here that this is good, a good consistency. So now I'm just going to gently paint onto my cookie. Now the gold will cover up white. It'll cover up any color. I usually try and do whatever color the base is that I'm coloring it. Um, I used white today just because I wanted you to be able to see. But if it's showing through, if that gold is showing through, then you have, you need a little bit more gold in your mixture, okay? So just make sure, now painting gold on cookies can be super tedious. So make sure if you're selling these cookies that you're pricing them accordingly because if you're having to do a hundred of these cookies right here for a graduation set, you want to make sure that you are charging for your timing. Now, I can't see on the other side of this, so I'm going to flip it around, but make sure you're charging for your time because this takes a lot of time. You are hand painting these cookies, hand painting them. So we want to make sure that you are just not working in vain, that you are really, you're making a profit and, but that's something that is fair to the customer, um, but also you are compensated for all of your work. So I'm just going to bring it around here and make sure, always check all your angles when you're painting because you will inevitably miss something. All right, so that's one cookie done. Doesn't that look so good with the gold? Whoa, I love it. All right, since we already have this brush, we're gonna go ahead and do our bow. And so you can see, like I've used it, but it'll also evaporate as you are using it. The alcohol evaporates. And don't worry, your, your customers are not gonna get drunk. This is basically like rubbing alcohol. The alcohol evaporates um, after it is on the cookie. So you're not going to get anybody drunk. It's safe for kids. Now it does say on it that it is non-toxic. So I would not paint a entire cookie in gold, but you can use it for embellishments, but it is non-toxic. If you are worried about food safety, then I would say don't use that and maybe use airbrushing, a gold airbrush that is a little bit more safer. So, and non-toxic does not mean that it is FDA approved. It just means you're probably not gonna die from it, but it doesn't mean that it is FDA approved. So just know that going in. Now, this gold does get everywhere, so I suggest that you use paper towels, you can use my new wet cloths that I have in my shop. They're fantastic that I forgot to talk about. I'm gonna switch um, and use my thinner brush here since I'm using a smaller, I'm doing a smaller area. You can also do gold and do like flicking, which looks really good. And so we're just gonna cover. And then we're going to cover this whole bottom piece. 
I usually hold the gold, but I feel like my hand is covering. It's in a shadow. Look how good that looks. Isn't that so pretty? And then the last, I know it's kind of hard to see because it's black. And the last is our gown. It just really takes it to the next level. It really does and looks so good. So if you have a, if you're doing cookies for a graduation and they have gold in their colors, I recommend using this, but you can use this. Um, a lot of times I did this for weddings, baby showers. The gold is so pretty. All right. And that is your set. And then I just will just ball of those, just put the lids back on both of those, put the lid on this. Now, when I come back to it later on, it'll be, um, it'll have dissolved. But that is your graduation gold cookies. I hope that you enjoyed that. Super fun, super um, delightful, and just a creative way to do some graduation gifts. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you aren't already, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just hit the bell button below so that you get notified when any of my new videos drop. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.